Hi, um, I'm Shivan Subramanian and I'm just presenting our paper X Outline Gen, which is cross-lingual outline generation for encyclopedic text in low resource languages. So the main motivation behind this paper uh, and basically cross-lingual generation in general is that a lack of existing internet content in your low resource languages. So this is a graph which is made from Wikipedia articles in these low resource languages, Bengali, Hindi, Malayalam, Marathi, Oriya, Punjabi, Tamil and English, which is a high resource here. And we just try to observe within the Wikipedia pages of out of all the references which is given at given at the end of each Wikipedia page, how many of them are actually not in the ref, not in their source language, not in any other LR, LR language, but actually in English. And we observe for most of the domains, across most of the domains, across most of the languages, around 60 to 70 percent of on average around 60 to 70 percent of all articles in these low resource languages have all the references in English. This highlights a basically disparity between the amount of information content available in the different languages and it motivates the need for cross-lingual generation. Another main, uh, we are in this particular paper, in this particular problem, we are trying to build on top of the existing XWiki gen problem, which was basically that given a section title or given an outline in a particular language and a set of reference URLs for that particular Wikipedia article, we try to summarize a multi-document cross-lingual summarization, summarization to regenerate the article. Now, this particular problem requires, uh, we are trying to smoothen the process of automatic generation of Wikipedia articles by also trying to, by also now generating the outline on its own, on our own. So, xoutlinegen is an extension of xwikigen in which we are trying to generate the outline just given the section type, uh, the article title and the set of reference units. Before we go on to the definition of the problem, just an idea about the data set. XWikiref was a data set which was uh, introduced in XWikiGen and it had around 70,000 articles of 8 languages, 7 of which were Indian languages which are low resource in nature and high domains. Uh, XWikiRef2 have 92,000 articles. It has an extension of XWikiRef and it has Telugu and Kannada as additional languages and animals, cities and companies as three other domains. Uh, just an idea about how our problem statement is going to look. We will have citations and article title in the target language as our input. So suppose our input is Amitabh Bachchan in Hindi and we have all the citations present in that particular uh, Wikipedia article. What our key goal is to generate the final outline for that particular article title. So our first step is of course to summarize all the citations which are present because the number of citations there is no guarantee on either the number of citation or the language of citation and we cannot have 100 documents spanning over 1000 sentences and feed that to one single model and expect it to properly summarize it or generate the outline as requirement. So what we will do is have an extra unsupervised extractive summarization unsupervised because the, this is mid, middle part is born out of necessity is not supported by any data set and hence we cannot supervise it without text with the current resources. Uh, then we will pick out the top key relevant sentences which acts as our extractive summarization. Then we pass it through an abstractive summarization model which will have rewards which help in reinforcing and nudging the model in the correct direction and that will give us finally the generated article outline. For the extractive stage we use a, we use a hipporank model. Hipporank is an extractive unsupervised uh, <laughs> Neural unsupervised extractive summarizer, and what it does is it gives it, uh, uh, it creates a hierarchical graph, a sentence which has sentence level nodes and section level nodes. For the sentence level nodes, it computes it by getting a normal encoder representation, and for the section level nodes, it takes the mean pooling of the section level sentence level representation to get the section section level representation. It has connection. The connection between these particular nodes are based on two things: similarity computation and asymmetrical edge weighting. The similarity computation is done by a cosine similarity and for asymmetrical edge weighting before that this is just a small part that there are two uh, small important part is that there are two different types of edges that we are defining. One is intersectional which means within the section each sentence is connected to every other sentence and one is intersectional that a se sentence is also connected to the section and only one sentence is connected to all the other sections to uh, for the computational cost purposes. Now, asymmetrical edge weighting essentially tells you that the edge, the weight of edge from sentence one to sent, node one to node two is not equal to the weight of edge from node two to node one. This is done because of the boundary function which is defined, which is based on the heuristic that a sentence is close to the boundary of sections are deemed to be more important. 
based on all these factors then important score is calculated based on your intersectional and intersectional weighted linear uh, weighted average, uh, weighted average and then you can greedily select a top k most important sentences uh, based on this importance calculation uh, this is our all base of chapter summarizer where our input is again uh, our top k citation sentences and article title and uh, we give this particular input to our agent uh, agent's job is to figure out the best action to figure out an action to take uh, based on that our model selects an action a which is basically the output of the model and it gives it the environment the job of an environment is that given an action and given a state figure out the reward that i am going to get we have two different kinds of rewards section title compatibility and entity correctness section title compatibility is a linear classifier which we have trained which try uh, which uh, tells you how compatible is the generated section title to the section content or in this case the article uh, or the citation content entity correctness essentially is a another reward which we have defined which is there to reduce the hallucinations uh, hallucinations and to ensure that any entity present in the section title is actually present in the section content as well these uh, the environment then gives a reward which is uh, given to the agent and in this case the model uh, our main generative model is updated based on this reward we use cross lingual check to check transform models and as our generative models either mt5 and mbot and we experiment with both uh the because they are because of the cross lingual capabilities the transform models are then used to train record with the rewards in an rl setting so as to get the best possible results so for results first we have experimented with mbart across all domains across all domains and languages and we get an average rouge f1 score of 0.43 um uh, similarly on mt5 we get an average rouge one uh, rouge f one score of 0.48 across all domains and across all languages uh, uh, to reiterate our contributions first we have contributed the data set xwikiref version 2 which is a which is a more detailed version which is has more languages and more domains and more articles in general over the xwikiref data set which is a cross lingual multi document summarization data set secondly we have also proposed the task and more proposed and motivated the task of x outline cross lingual outline generation from uh, wikipedia citations and we have uh, we have trained our models on that in an rl settings and completed the scores and presented the scores accordingly uh, for any doubts i am the corresponding author and the details have been mentioned in this slide so uh, yeah that's all and thank you